Hey everybody. Um, I wanted to post a quick video of the wellness speech, uh, otherwise known as Beth momming you all to death, uh, just in case we don't get to it or I kind of decide that it's not the best use of our time uh, in the discussion period of our first class, because it's really, really important. This is just, it's a message that you guys need to hear from your professors, your instructors in general, but it, it's one that I want you to hear from me as well. So this is the scoop. Um, university is really, really hard. It's really hard. I don't care who you are. And at some point, at some point, maybe not this year, maybe not next year, but at some point, something other than school and work and family and like being a person, something will probably blow up or collapse or take a hard turn and it will make things really challenging for a while. And furthermore, this is winter semester. So it's going to be cold and dark most of the time. And around midterm, you'll begin to experience the cumulative fatigue of a whole school year which goes in above and beyond the sort of the tiredness and the pressure that you feel at midterm in the fall semester during the first half of the year. Um, you are going to hear people constantly telling you that this chapter of your life is about learning core skills like self-care and time management, which is true. That is, that is true. But how those reminders make you feel can be deceptive. Not having your self-care or your time management systems like nailed down yet at this point in life is normal. It is not necessarily some kind of sign that you're not smart enough or diligent enough or adult enough or, or whatever. It's also very much about the fact that in order to understand your own self-care needs, and your best time management, self-management strategies, you need to know yourself really, really well. And at this stage, you're still learning. We, we, I'm still a student. We are still learning so much about ourselves all the time. You're still adding to the data bank of, like, information on you that helps you know what you need under stress in order to get through different kinds of hard things and accomplish various tasks. I am keenly aware that we are all on that human journey together here. On top of all that normal stuff, in this class, you are going to be asked, I'm going to ask you to engage deeply, intellectually, emotionally, and, and as we go along, increasingly as skillful analyzers of literary art, I am going to ask you to engage with a wide variety of very powerful texts. They are powerful in their beauty, in their precision, in the way they provoke empathy, and they are often powerful in their representations of pain. Many of the stories that we will be dealing with are told from the intimate perspectives of characters experiencing intense emotional or psychological stress, queer characters, oppressed characters, mentally ill or traumatized characters, grieving characters, figures dealing with disasters or confronting huge existential quandaries. And any of those may be experiences that cut really near the bone for some of you at the time that we're reading them. Plus, maybe at the time that we're reading them, you have three assignments due and a family member who's struggling and also your laundry hasn't been done in two weeks. That's a reasonable outcome to anticipate. So, as your instructor, I need you to know that absolutely nothing in this course is more important than your long-term health and well-being. I want you to work hard in this class. I want you to do your very best, not just to meet the official requirements, but to give yourself over to the transformative power of the things we'll read and of writing about them. But what I want even more than that is for all of you to finish this semester whole and well. 
So, go outside. I'm going to say that again. Go outside. Not just like running from building to building when it's cold. Get outside sometimes. Experience the sunshine or even if it's gray and hazy, experience fresh air. The leaf just opened up the way at Assiniboine Park. The gardens in there are an amazing escape from the cold and a great resource for some plant therapy. Uh, it costs money, but student admission is really not bad. Eat your damn salad from the cafeteria at lunch. Green food is grade food. I'm not kidding. Do the best you can with the juggling act and know that I am here to be both highly demanding and highly responsive to what you're going through as a student, your, your process of, of becoming. Um, I really genuinely care about how you're doing as a person. So don't ever be afraid to reach out if you need to like negotiate something, a deadline, whatever, based on how life is going. Or if you want to discuss deeper stuff of how our readings might be affecting you or you, any of that. Sidebar. Any international students, specifically from warm climate countries, if this is your first winter in Winnipeg, my dears, if this is your first winter in Winnipeg, you've probably already figured out that winter here is no joke, um, but I'm going to make this explicit for a minute. I have on two separate occasions been driving through this city in winter, stopped at an intersection, and picked up an international student who was stranded in dangerously cold temperatures and not dressed for the weather. One of them had just miscalculated his route home and he missed the last bus and it was like 30 below. The other, through no fault of her own, had received inadequate student orientation and she didn't realize that if crosswalk lights are out or not working, you can still just like watch for a, a break in the traffic and go ahead and cross the road and you will not get in trouble or be arrested. She was so scared of breaking a rule and possibly being punished for it that she almost got frostbite on her hands and it almost makes me cry just retelling that story. Um, so folks, Winnipeggers, everybody, please, 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 please wear good winter clothes when you're out and about in this weather, especially if you take the bus a lot. Hats, mitts, scarf, proper coat, proper footwear. If you don't have those things, totally reasonable. Speak to your international student assistant or your advisor or find a group of friends and go thrifting. Just don't go out without real clothes on because things can get scary fast. But do go outside. Dress for it. Go outside. See the sun. Thrive as humans. In summary... University is about cultivating a certain toughness and professionalism, but in my direct personal experience, the most professional, on their stuff, like slay everyday people that I have ever met, are also richly, tenderly humane people who put human beings first. And I would like us all to set that standard for our work together this term. That's what you can expect from me. It's what I will hope for from you. Deal. <laughs>